guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Michelle Nicole and I put makeup on my face and I open subscription boxes. Today, I have my Ipsy Plus, Ipsy Glam Plus, I guess that's what they call it, for the month of June. I just uploaded my BoxyCharm for the month of June and a little haul attached with it, but Ipsy will be the only box I will be getting from here on out, except for like Walmart beauty box and stuff like that. But I did cancel BoxyCharm. This last box just wasn't, the last BoxyCharm box was not worth me keeping it, especially not having a job right now. Between the two, that one had to go. If I had a job right now, because I don't want my husband paying for all of my stuff. He does that anyway, but when it comes to like my hobbies and my habit, this makeup addiction habit I have, I don't want him paying for that, even though he has offered to. So I let go of BoxyCharm. So Ipsy Plus is the second of the three subscriptions that they have. They have the normal bag, which is $12 a month, and it is five sample deluxe. You get full sizes in there too. And plus is 25 a month with five full size products, all full size. And then they have like a premium or ultimate glam bag ultimate, and it's $50. And it's like eight full size and four deluxe, but no one really likes that one because you get a lot of crappy shit in it. So I like this one, it's perfect. You get really good stuff in here. So I'm going to start with my add-ons first and my points. I did, um, there's no card once again. There is no card in BoxyCharm once again. There is a card, but it's just a, here comes the sun, five tips to maximize your SPF. The theme is Make Waves, June 2020. So, for my points, I had some points I could redeem because they've been, like, really shitty on shipping and on messing up products lately and stuff when I order from, like, Ipsy Shopper and stuff and mystery bags. So, I had a bunch of points and I got two things because they didn't have very much to choose from. The first thing I got was the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads a 10 pack which I have the full size of it a couple of them I love these so much and I make my husband use them too they're simple they're easy and they make your skin look beautiful I love these so much so I'll save this for like traveling if we travel <laughs> which I don't see but if we do we usually go to the beach around this time of the summer but I don't know if we are this year Maybe, hopefully. The next thing I got was the Yensa Super 8 Lip Oil in the shade Pink Shine. And I actually redeemed this to set aside. I don't want to rip the box, but I can't get it open. I'm trying to open it without ripping the box because I got this to set aside for a future giveaway so it's like one of those pink shine I have a few Yensa products like fate a primer foundation and concealer a mask and I really really love their products this just is not something that I use I have something like this like a bright pink lip oil that's clear but then it turns your lips hot pink I'm saving this for a giveaway and then for I added on a two pack of the panda eye brightening your nose to up to your forehead so just like this half of the face and it looks like a little panda bear it's so cute and I love these they actually make your under 
light and plump. I love these so much. So I get them any chance I can. Two for three bucks. Not bad. Let me go ahead and pull up. the ips because that is going to be um the only way i can see the prices for everything the last add-on i got was another three dollar add-on so this is what it is this is the malay Leica pro blending sponge for a flawless finish it comes in this cute little case which i will save once again for travel it's hold it over and close it in there and it'll stay put in your bag instead of touching everything just hate the sticker that's on it but oh well don't care and this feels so nice. It feels just like the Shop Miss A Paw Paw ones. I love this. This is dry, obviously. I'm sure it'll get a lot bigger. It's super soft. And this type of sponge material, this density, I really, really like this. My favorite is the original ColourPop sponge. But I'm excited to give that a try. I just got Maybelline one the black one for three dollars from walmart on clearance and i absolutely hate it but i'm excited to try this okay now jumping into the box the bag for this month is one that i will set aside for a giveaway it is super super cute but i mean i have my favorites that i save for like little things that I use them for and the rest I just put in a giveaway because I don't need all of these bags it's this beautiful mint green with yellow inside and it has all these ladies laying out shapes sizes colors very cute very inclusive I really really think it's cute but that can go to someone else okay the next thing is my choice item so this is what i chose they did not have a lot to choose from this for the choice when it was time to choose last month but i saw this and i was like you know what my 14 year old niece that lives with us can use this i can use this my husband can use this so i thought it would be good this is the good in dock ac control blemish spot treatment it's 30 mil one ounce it is, I'm pretty sure, a yeah, made in Korea. It's a Korean skincare brand. And it is one of those that says not for resale all over it. This highly concentrated spot treatment helps control trouble areas. It soothes and repairs damaged and compromised skin that suffers from breakouts, age spots, or environmental damage. With a cream-like texture, this treatment is idea for the, ideal for those with acne-prone skin. Apply a thick layer to desired target problem areas. Do not use on open wounds. Do not store in direct sunlight. So, I'm going to read up more on this later. I don't know if you're supposed to like put it all over your face or just on the spots. I'm not sure. But it's just a little one ounce. Once again, it says not for resale. So I'm not sure if this is full size. And it says brightening right there. So I'm assuming it's brightening. This is... 15 it does say it's full size and it's only $15 the closest thing to a magic eraser for whiteheads blackheads and cysts it has squalene a combo of anti-inflammatory and anti antioxidant rich broccoli tea tree and soybean to help reduce all soybean extracts to help reduce all the annoying side effects like redness swelling discolorations that are associated with breakouts this gentle cream-based formula is safe for all skin types, including dry and sensitive. This formula is cruelty-free, paraben-free, silicone-free, and nut-free. So it has all natural ingredients. 
The reviews say it was amazing. Only use this once, but it seems to do the job. Seems to do the trick for me. So people seem to like it. The next thing I got is a 6 a set of six, the Jejun Cosmetics Wake Pure Sheet Mask. So it's a set of six. You get two of each kind. And there is a... What's the name of that? Avocado Nourishing Mask. Something Berry Calming Mask. And a Brightening Mask. A Sea Berry Brightening Mask. I did already use one of the Purple Calming Masks the other night. And I really, really, really liked it a lot. So, if you shop from this website, you can use promo code IPSYSAVE20 to get 20% discount on your order. Yeah. And it's supposed to help with dullness, redness, and dryness. And it's $15 for the six-pack, which is not bad at all. The next thing in the box is the Thrive Cosmetics Lip Mate. I think it's Mate High Shine Reviving Topper in Effie. Effie. And it's $24. So this is what the packaging looks like. And it's an Effie. Uh, a pink shimmer. And that looks very, very glittery. I do not have any gloss on right now, so I will put some on. Yeah. It's pretty thick. No smell, no taste, nothing. Thrive is usually like paraben free scent and stuff like that. Yeah, no feathering, vegan, cruelty free, paraben and sulfate free. And you know, for every product purchased, we donate to help a woman thrive. So they donate a lot like their proceeds from a purchase, like half of it or something like that to a woman shelter and stuff like that, which is really cool. I love the mascara. The tubing mascara from Thrive Cosmetics is the most amazing conceal concealer <laughs> mascara there will ever be. It does not flake. It does not run. It lasts all day. It's basically like a waterproof mascara without the ridiculous task of trying to take it off. It's amazing. This is pretty. The shimmer is very sub subtle, 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 very subtle. But I can feel the glitter, like the little sand pieces, you know what I mean? And I'm not a big fan of that, but I mean, it is cute and I will use it. And then the next thing in the box is the Ciate London Marble Metals Eyeshadow in Wicked. I was really disappointed when I got this shade because the other option was like a beautiful champagne, like light gold type of shade, like a me shade. But I mean, it's nice to have something different. This is the box and then they're Marble Metals. This is supposedly $24. This is the container. Looks just like the Maybelline Eye Studio pots and other things. The mark, the eyes to memorize and stuff like that. Has a little. Sorry, that was my kid's school. This is what it looks like. I have not swatched it yet. I wanted to wait to swatch it on camera to see what it looks and feels like. There's 
So, it's like a thick putty. Kind of like muddy almost. That's what it looks like now that I've ruined the pretty. Design. I mean, that's pretty. I want to swatch it where I can see it. I can't really twist my arm like that. That's pretty. Like a sheer wash of it, you can see all that glitter. I'll use this. I will. It might be different with a brush. Who knows? The glitter in there is really pretty. Oh, and you can almost make it come back to life if you put the stopper in there and, like, push it around. I don't know. I'll give it a shot. The... Next thing, or the last thing, this is the very last thing in the box. And like I said, save these, cut them into like squares, like squares this big or something. You can get like six pieces out of this to wash your brushes. They are amazing for washing your brushes. Like, amazing. So, the very last thing in the box is the Flesh, flesh to Flesh Highlighting Powder in the shade 310 jump there was there was like six or seven shades and this is the second shade out of them and i'm very happy i got this one because i looked at all the shades and i'm very very happy that i got the second lightest shade instead of the lightest one the lightest one was really pretty but this is $28. Um, I love the packaging. It's like this deep grayish brown with light pink. Love it so much. And the packaging, the components just like it. Love their packaging in the shade Jump. And I did already swatch this. I could not contain myself. Has a nice huge mirror. And that's what it looks like. Can't even tell. It's just so smooth. Look at this. That is so pretty. It's so smooth. Oh, it's so pretty. I can't wait to put this on my face. It's like a gold. It's a gold. A champagne, but more gold. So, I love it. I love gold, hot, light gold champagne highlighters. They are my favorite. So, this, this, and the sheet mask made the box worth it to me. These two, they're just not my style, and that is in my profile that I don't really go for this type of lip gloss or these colors, but that's what happens. But overall, I got way more worth of my money out of paying for this than I did in BoxyCharm. I'm really happy for this box, and for six bucks, I got two more masks and a sponge that I'm excited about. And then for points, I got something I love plus something for a giveaway. So I'm very, very excited. I love my Ipsy this month. Super excited to try all these products. In my last video, my BoxyCharm unboxing and the haul, I will be doing a video soon trying all of those products. And I'm so excited. I have the new Elf and J Kissa palette, the rainbow palette. I still have to put my stickers on it. So I'm super excited for that and that will be the next video and I really hope y'all enjoyed this and I will see you in my next one. Bye!